Hi guys, happy new year. Hope you had a good one. Uh, I've not been able to get much done for Christmas break. I am unfortunately my dad's in hospital. He's got a um, pneumonia, so I have not got much painting done. So well, first let's have a look at the uh, releases or so to say offers from uh, Warlord at the moment. At the moment, if you buy a rule book, you can get a selected infantry box free. Now, I, I did this once before. Um, got a box, got the rule book, and got a, a free box of infantry. Pay for the rule book, and you get a 15 20 pound box of infantry free. Good deal. Take advantage of it while you can because I don't know how long the offer will last for. Also, coming soon is the new Invasion of Britain box set from Hail Caesar. Looks really good. Um, quite a few bits in it actually. Uh, I'll just uh, go through the list here. Uh, the box set contains uh, A5 Hail Caesar rule book, quick start guide, 80 plastic Celtic infantry, 40 Roman legionnaires, Roman Scorpio catapult and crew, Imperial commander, uh, uh, metal Celtic chieftain on horse, Celtic and Roman water slide decals. 12 dice and reference sheets and casualty counters so yeah, good set and, and that's going to be real, retail for £70 same price as all the other starter boxes good value it works out to 122 infantry roughly the same as what I got in the Waterloo box set so uh, bargain price that so keep your eye out for that coming out if you're in interested in getting into Hell Caesar that's the, definitely the way to go Right, so I said I was going to show you the contents of this. This is the Waterloo British Line Infantry Command. So um, we'll go to the table and I'll uh, empty the contents out and we'll have a look see what's in it. Okay, so this is the Waterloo Infantry British Line Command. So um, let's open it up and have a look. See what we get. Yeah, so there's a standard bear of the thing. Little drummer boy. <laughs> there's the officer with a Draw a dashing sword pose there. Hmm. I mean, he's got an arm missing. Maybe the arm there. That might be a sergeant with a spear, maybe. So another one. Banner. Another engineer with an axe. Now these guys for all the banners you actually get the poles that sort of uh, attached in the uh, in the foam. So that'll give me my command for the, uh, in one of the infantry squads. I don't know if I'll use all the figures, I'll probably just use the, the standard bearers, the officer and the drummer. I don't think I'll use the engineer. Yeah, he's quite cool with his axe though. Okay. So that's the, the contents of the Waterloo British Infantry Line Command. In the last episode, I also said I would show you the contents of this, the American Infantry Box. So, I'm going to take this cellophane off it. Ok, 
Okay. So you see, yeah, it's jammed with sprues. Well, you can count them there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sprues in there. There's a sheet showing you what they are, and then there's a weapon sprue, all the various weapons that you can use, and there's a sniper rifle there, woohoo, what else have you got, there's a bazooka, Various rifles, pistols, hey okay, Thompson, and then this is the the main sprue. It's got one, two, three, five figures on it. It's five bases, various arms. Turn it all there. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So that gives you 25 guys there. And there's actually three of the uh, weapon sprues. So, oh no, it's not a bad box. It's 20, 25 guys, or 25 more, more guys I've got to put together. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're going to look at break tests. Now, uh, each unit on the, the battlefield will have a stamina value. Now, most units have a stamina value of three. Uh, this is how much, how many casualties are such that the unit can take before it becomes shaken. Um, once it becomes shaken, any excess ca uh, casualties above that figure will force a break test. So to make life easier, I'm going to start off by putting three pins on each unit. So each unit uh, is now got the same number of casualties as the stamina value. So the units are shaken. Um, basically what that means is, because they're shaken, they have a negative modifier to their shooting, to the hand-to-hand, -hand, um, etc so what we'll do is this unit's going to shoot which will shoot with with three dice um, actually what I'll do is I'll roll two dice and whoever whatever side gets the highest number are going to go first so so oh and it's the blues conveniently so I'll roll three dice now normally they would need threes to hit the target, but because they are shaken, because they've got um, casualties equal to the stamina value, it isn't a minus one, so they actually need fours. So I'm gonna roll these three dice. So you've got one five, so they've inflicted a casualty on the unit. Then I'll roll up the dice and got a four. So they didn't cancel it. That unit takes an extra casualty. Now they're at four casualties. So that has now forced a break test on that unit. So because these are now going to take a break test, what they have to do, they have to roll two dice and they have to subtract one for each casualty above their stamina value. So roll two dice and we score 11. Subtract one, brings it down to 10. Now there's a chart in the rule book which I will consult. And seven or more, the unit holds its ground 
it stays where it is and does not move. So once the brake test has been resolved, the excess casualty is then removed and the unit can carry on. So their turn to shoot. Again, three dice. And this time they get two. So now these are going to try and roll two dice to try and counteract them. And you get a five. So they stop one of them. So they've inflicted another casualty on this. So now these got to make a break test. So again, two dice. Ooh, six minus one for the excess casualty. That takes it down to five. And in the book, five, it says infantry and cavalry the unit retires one full move to its rear without changing formation and at all times avoiding contact with the enemy once it has moved the unit becomes disordered if it is not already so so the unit makes one full move to its rear And again, the excess pin is then removed. But what I'll do is I'll just... Move it back slightly so it's still in shot of the camera. What I'll do is I'll turn that over to say that that unit is now disordered. Okay guys, so that's the basic brake test mechanic you see they were lucky and nothing happened they held the ground this unit was not so lucky and that would, would retire one full length to its rear and became disordered if you roll a four or less the unit's gone from the game Okay guys, so that's the end of the first episode of Warlord Wednesday for 2018. Uh, join me next week when we'll have another look at what exciting uh, releases Warlord have got. We'll also take a look at um, the British line infantry. Hopefully we'll have uh, some of them painted. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, my storyboard done for you to show you um, what I do to keep a record of how I painted the fi uh, figure so if I come back to it in six months or twelve months time I, I know what colours to use to paint the figure the same as I already did and we'll also take a look at the next episode of the uh, Black Powder Rules I wonder what it will be next week till then take care